Dry sump lubrication is particularly used in racing cars such as the BAC Mono. It has additional components to the wet sump lubrication system. These components include an oil tank with a breather tank. Furthermore, the dry sump lubrication has a cyclone separator and a multi-stage pump. Often there is an oil cooler, which is not shown here for simplicity's sake. The oil is stored in the oil tank. The oil tank is filled from above by a scavenge pump. The line to the breather tank is located at the top of the oil tank. The breather tank is important because air remains in the oil. This air must be able to escape. Baffles ensure that the oil remains in the bottom of the oil tank during extreme cornering. This guarantees that there is always enough oil in the bottom of the tank that can be pumped to the engine. If air is drawn in, the lubricating films in the engine could not be maintained, resulting in excessive wear and tear. The oil tank is connected to the pressure stage of the pump. The oil is pumped by the pressure stage to the oil filter. That helps remove contaminants from the oil. The oil then lubricates the engine parts and drips or flows into the oil pan. The scavenge stage of the pump then sucks the oil out of the oil pan. It is important that the scavenge stage of the pump has a higher output than the pressure stage of the pump. This ensures that the oil tank has always enough oil in it. However, it has the disadvantage that this usually results in an oil-air mixture. The oil-air mixture is pumped to the cyclone separator. The mixture flows in from above. A large part of the air contained in the oil is removed by the cyclone separator. Finally, the oil returns to the oil tank. From here, the cycle starts again. The animation on wet sump lubrication shows the operating principles of the oil filter and the lubrication of bearings and cylinders in the engine.